Inside the shell of a converted tram shed in East London, a splashy launch for a stylish smartphone. Let me introduce to you HTC Hero. The touchscreen device built on Google's Android platform equates to a bold attempt by HTC to take on Apple's popular iPhone, not by creating a copycat, but by building an attractive alternative. The Hero supports Adobe Flash, has a 5-megapixel camera with built-in geotagging. It also uses Teflon on the matte white underside of the phone to help resist dirt. However, what HTC is really emphasizing with this launch is just how much the user experience can be tailored to suit individual preferences and moods. There's even a name for this customizable interface. It's called Sense. Chief Innovation Officer Horace Luke. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that your, your experience is completely tailor-made to the type of content that you actually would use. Uh, the second thing that you'll notice is that we also have a uh, technology in here called Scenes. And through just simply one touch, you can actually change your profile from uh, being at work to uh, going out on a weekend. For example, on a, on a weekend, you might not want your work email. Well, simply just one touch. It changes the, the personality of the phone. And rather than having to open several applications to see what a friend is up to, each contact has a profile page with... All the SMS from the person, all the email from the person, all the different updates I've, that person might have posted on, on Facebook or Flickr, all the photos that person have posted, and call history, too. Luke says thought even went into how the phone would sit when placed on a table. Andrew Lim has worked for years covering mobile devices for CNET and now for Recombu.com. He says HTC has taken a significant step forward with its latest offering. If you look at their previous products, um, they still had a way to go. But I think the HTC Hero is as close as anyone has got to a real iPhone competitor. Hero is launching in Europe this July through T-Mobile in Orange. It will be released in Asia later this summer, and a North American version will be available sometime in 2009. So far, no pricing details have been announced. Matt Cowan, Reuters.